Well, we've been, I, when I originally saw the opportunity, I thought, well, we would be perfect as a company to receive that. Um, I said, you know, we fit right into that category. Yeah. Maybe we should um, put our names forward. And I thought we can do better than that. Right. Because, you know, I think there's other companies who perhaps need the exposure. Mm. We're well on our way to getting our brand recognized. And maybe we can do something to, to help others in the same area. So um, we oh, sort of stood back from the yeah. receiving it and said, we'll yeah, sponsor it. Because I've got to say, for me, you're, you're an obvious recipient of this award in one respect. Yeah. So you know, it's very noble of you to, to, to do that, to say, well, look, you know, I'd rather sponsor this. And in one respect, it actually highlights the need for more, uh, for, for companies to do more for their employees. I know that's a, that's a key ethos of your business about encouraging businesses to do more for their you know, employees of different backgrounds. Well, I think it's, as a country, we're coming of age a little bit. Right. Because when I started the business 15 years ago, um, the, the diversity in the workplace wasn't really recognised mm. as something which needed to be addressed. Um, so from those very early beginnings, we saw, well, I've seen significant change. I think we've helped do that change. Mm. We wrote our publication, Diversity Matters, which is very well circulated now amongst the architects and the facility managers, and is almost a de facto standard for the design of mm. um, the facilities yeah. in the workplace for all the right reasons. Mm. Um, and since that time, I, I, I think the whole of the UK and America and a lot of countries follow the UK. So I've seen a real sort of um, change yeah. over the last decade. Uh, as a business owner, I know how hard it is. It can be very, very challenging to start and set up a business. It is, um, uh, I mean, being a freelancer or a business owner, um, it's a dream to come true for some people, but to start off, it can be very, very hard. And Personally, I wanted to support um, businesses. This is why I'm here, I'm sponsoring, because I do want to support businesses, and I, I would love to. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're, no, uh, you're a regular on the show. Yeah. Everybody knows you on our screens, and, you know, the, the cooking's fantastic, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Really good. How did this come about, um, you joining us, and how did you find the experience as an entrepreneur, then, like, showcasing your talent here in the studio? Right, it feels very strange not cooking and sitting here on the sofa, first of all. Um, <clears throat> home cook was, is a fantastic journey for me. I mean, it's a dream come true. Um, I've, I've had so many challenges as entrepreneurs. Life can be a dark place. Uh, you know, you have uh, times where you feel so low and then you feel so good one day and then you feel really down the next day. Um, <clears throat> It really um, started off, I, I never knew um, the, the, the chef inside me, basically, <laughs> until I went on BBC and I, I was semi-finalist on the cooking show. And uh, I thought, you know, there is a gap in the market. Why not homemade food? It's so authentic. Um, so many people have dream of starting their own business. They can't do. They don't have massive investments to start a restaurant or a takeaway. So they can start something really, really small investment. They can start off something from home. And uh, this is why I've created the business. The concept was welcomed by so many people. They've joined the platform. And, uh, you know, people love that authentic regional flavors and foods. Uh, that you can easily, ex uh, ex you know, become so accessible. Uh, Islam Channel is a, a very known channel in UK. And as we are growing, we work with the Muslim community all over the country. We um, have been asked to do it. And uh, it's in the other side, it's like kind of marketing uh, for the company to show, to get more customers. And obviously, here in uh, my both uh, colleagues uh, now, to be honest, it's quite difficult to choose. <laughs> obviously, after some research and uh, and uh, obviously with your help, uh, I guess you will hear us on the 18th. Yeah, we will be ready to mm -hmm. uh, to make our final decision. But I'm glad to be a sponsor and uh, standing with both of you, helping you, and obviously not only sponsor, but uh, I wish you will be, you will join us as a customers, and uh, you are most welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so t tell us a little bit about the company then. Uh, yes, Zabiha. Zabiha is a, a meat and poultry uh, supplier. Mm. Uh, we do fresh and frozen products. We are fully certified HMC. Halal Monitoring Committee. We do only understand compared to other suppliers. We're based in West, Lon West London and uh, we supply restaurants, takeaways, 
uh, all types of restaurants, like you mentioned, Asian restaurants, uh, grill places, uh, schools, hotels, even home deliveries. We we introduced uh, during COVID. We inter pe people they couldn't come yeah. out, go to a uh, high street shop. So we were we introduced home delivery. So Zabiha is a cutting plant. It's a professional cutting plant, and uh, we do mainly deboning. So we do everything fresh. We work 24-7, we have day shift, late shift and night shift and uh, everything is fresh, uh, less than 24 hours, uh, I mean, uh, shelf life and uh, we supply now all around the UK.